What's up? My name is Jayla, and this is The Rawest Podcast. The name is self-explanatory because we are The Rawest Podcast. Today, I'm here with Shania. On phone now. KB. What's the word? And Jay Sean. Yo. All here to speak on current teenage trends. From clothing to technology, there's multiple pros and cons, but everyone has their own opinion. So, to get started, let's take a trip in the closet. I'm here to talk about the current shoe trends. So, did you guys see that Travis Scott gifted majority of his performers with a couple of pairs of shoes each during his Astro World Fest? No, I did not. Well, both the baby, Megan Thee Stallion, other artists like Migos and Gucci received two pairs of shoes each. Well, actually, I did see the babies. I thought uh, T.I. said we could boycott Gucci. Yeah, that's what T.I. said, but apparently not. Oh. Gucci the artist, not oh. the clothing. <laughs> That's Jay Sean, everybody. <laughs> no, he gifted them with two pairs each. One of the shoes included a pair of Jordan 11s, and then the other shoes included his own signature, um, Air Force Ones. Let me try them. They're nice. They're nice. I like those. Got about Gucci now. <laughs> so my question to you is, have you seen the shoes? The, no. The not Travis the, Scott. The, the Travis Scott. Yeah. Do you nice. think he can make it far in the... In the shoe designing uh, business? No. He sells his shoes for too much. Ain't nobody finna spend that much on shoes. Well, I know I'm not spending How that much. How much do he sell them for? It's like, it's like uh, 400. Thousand. Like 400. Maybe, maybe that's the cheapest. That's the cheapest. That's retail. But like. Oh, well, he needs to stand in the music owner. industry. Yeah. Easy. The music industry is where you need to be. The shoes look nice. So let me ask you this. When he charged, when he charged 400 for a pair of Air Force Ones, what makes it a difference when Jordan does it when he have the two shoe packs? You know how sometimes he have one shoe, like around the holidays, like he did the Legend Blues, where it was the white edition, and it was the blue edition. When he charged four hundred for those, and he sold them as a pack. Yes, as a pack. Yeah, but then you getting two packs you get of shoes. Two shoes, not one. Do you think? I mean, his shoes might be better. I mean, his shoes are better. Period. But like, yeah, that's you true. a rapper trying to make shoes, you can't just jump up to a price like that. Exactly, unless they limited edition. If he was to give you with two pairs of shoes right now, though, <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah, I'm gonna take them. Yeah. If Travis Scott was to say, "You can get any two pair of shoe, any two pair of exclusive shoes that I design," you have to recite one of my songs word by word, no mess up. Would you guys get those two pairs of shoes? No, nah. I don't even listen to his music. Me neither. Not like that. <laughs> okay. Well, next up, we got Shania. Shania, what you got to talk about today? Well, do you guys remember when we had a Motorola? In today's world of technology, they have phones for 1500 that hopefully outbeats the North iPhone. I doubt. Have you guys ever seen the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max in multiple colors? My favorite color is yellow. My favorite thing about the <laughs> iPhone 11 is the three cameras. What are you guys' opinion on the new AirPods? I love it. Um, I mean, I ain't seen them yet. So I, I don't like the new AirPods. AirPods. Like, no. you, like, do you mean like AirPods, period, or the The newer version. Recent? The most recent. Mm. I mean, I, mean I, I haven't had them, so like, I can't really say how I feel about them, but I don't, I don't. I, don't I mean, like but in my opinion, almost $300 for a pair of headphones is too much. I don't like the presentation. Like, yeah, that was yeah. like the regular hip the newest um airpods have um soft tip yeah the rubber the yeah, rubber included yeah, yeah. yeah rubber is horrible compared to the other airpods where there's no rubber you just stick it in but i feel but like the rubber could be good. more soft on your ears than the regular airpods but and they just don't fit in my ear period that's because <laughs> you have small ears okay <laughs> <laughs> but another thing with the airpods though with the AirPods, the newer AirPods, it's in white. Yeah, so, they had. I thought they was multicolor, white and black. Uh, I thought I only the seen, first AirPods had black too. Though, I only black. seen the white, and I feel like that's just. I don't know. The only reason I would get those AirPods is because of um, the sound thing they got on the web. Yeah. The yeah. Noise no, I feel like the only reason yeah. why I get them is because they waterproof. They waterproof? Yeah. Yes, that's I really good. That, that, yeah, that would only be the only reason why. I wish phones, like, the amount of money you pay for these phones, you you deserve a pair of AirPods with them. 
true. That's definitely true. The uh, headphones should be. Because I just First got a new. Like how they do the wire headphones. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I just got a new phone. I got the 11 Pro Max. How do you like it? Oh, I love it. The camera quality that is camera, great. That camera nasty. It's great. Beautiful. And yeah, it's a it big is. upgrade for me because I came from a 6S Plus. Yeah, it was tough for you, but It was real tough. Well, I had a 6 Plus with no home button. She was out here with a piece of tape on. <laughs> well, guys, honestly, there is nothing different or better about the new AirPods. I'd rather stick to my wire headphones, only the real no. Exactly. If your phone falls, you cannot pick it up by the screen with an AirPod. Now you got that new phone that only got one port. So exactly. You now you can't listen to music, to music and, and charge your phone. phone. That's deep. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Well, <laughs> look, if you have the AirPods, you can do both. Exactly. That's true, too. Yeah. So, what's your, note. what's your opinion? If you were to do a, if you were to do a combo, you were to get either, say you'll get the new Motorola, no phone payments for the rest of your life, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. If you Camera don't pay, policy. So, if you don't pay a phone bill for the rest of your life. <laughs> Sorry, can't do it. I, can't I don't do know. It. I have to seriously think about it. For a free phone bill. Rest of my life. Maybe. Well, Jay Sean used to have. An I was about to say Jay Sean. <laughs> oh, okay, but that's, there's a difference. Still, not all Android cameras are uh, a surveillance camera. <laughs> this is true. That too, but then again, it's a Motorola. Yeah, that's true too. It's a different title. brand. Yeah. You have to download an app to FaceTime. Yes, Duo. And FaceTime. That's most Google people Skype. with iPhones don't like to download apps. Like, I like how you just came for Android. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. Okay. That was a lot of shade. <laughs> okay. Now we have KB. KB, what else is in the closet that you'd like to talk about? Let's talk about fashion. Fashion, they say, is evolving, but in all honesty, it's repeating. Shoes dropping over and over again. Old style slowly becoming worn again. Let's touch on the topic of guys, hetero and homosexual, wearing tight fitted jeans. That's mm -mm. Oh my God. I can't stand it. I can't either. Sorry if you know you skinny. Please have room in your jeans. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of is annoying. You got these tight jeans on, and your legs is like it a was, pencil. What's crazy is today when I was in gym, I was watching a group of people play basketball, and this boy had on jeans so tight that you know how when you with most skinny jeans, if they tight, they don't necessarily be too small for you, but at the ankles, you know, they rise up. Yeah. He had on these tight jeans. He was at least like 6'4", well over 150. And he was shooting basketball with the jeans on. And every time he ran, he just looked like he couldn't breathe, and that just really bothered me. Why are you playing basketball But you know what else hurts jeans? me about the tight jeans? If you're going to wear them, make sure you can fit them. If your jeans is flooding something's wrong and they're tight yeah yeah you gotta pick a struggle i see this one person every day in his pants or jeans never fit and i like want to give him a cup for christmas <laughs> <laughs> i think another thing is like do you guys know you guys know the brand of miri right yes. yeah majority yes. of their jeans are tight too but, but yeah, boys will true. get them because it's name brand yeah so they i feel like the crowd. yeah they i feel like that out. shouldn't be a double standard see, that's another thing it's a difference between skinny and slim fit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so people don't know. It's skinny, slim fit, and straight leg. Straight leg, I don't think that's. Well, my favorite I, mean, I don't know because I don't wear a straight leg. But. Okay, another thing with fashion. They went from scullies to beanies to fisherman hats. I remember fisherman hats. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That to snapbacks and fitteds once again. And another thing with fa with fashion that really it irked my nerve. People think design like they don't know the difference between designer and style. Like they think throwing together all type of mismatch designer mean oh I look good I got style versus me going in the mall with two hundred dollars and coming out looking better than you did on any day. So I basically guess. what you're saying is you hate it when people wear a thousand dollar outfit and it don't look put together. Not that, but it's like people think, oh, I got on Robin jeans 
in a polo shirt with Jordan. Yeah. So I true. Was good. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, That's definitely true. Even though Robbins played out, you think just because he got on his anime, you look good. I mean, but that will be a time Robbins come back. I mean, but everything else is coming back. You're right. My example for this, y'all, you guys probably won't feel the same way, but I feel like Gunna is the example of this. Everybody says, oh, he got drip. It's a drip guy. No. Gunna no. dresses terrible. Like, a bomb. <laughs> like uh, and that's another thing with the bag, the baggy clothes. Mm-hmm. When they think that that's a trend, I I don't like that either. Like, why can't you just be fitted? Well, not mm-hmm. too skinny, not too baggy. Don't right. get me wrong, a baggy sweater and with some jeans that's really cute. If you could pull it off, everybody can't pull it off. Maybe you can't pull it off. Sorry, Jayla, but I'm just saying. No, no, no. <laughs> I said I don't like when Gunna dresses like that. <laughs> like, <you laughs> that's know. what I said. You know, little Tucker. Yes. Like little Tucker. He would wear baggy jeans, but if you actually saw Lil Tucker, he actually looks like up to par with it. Like he got the baggy jeans, that's it. Gonna look like he finna go out of space or something. Like it's, it's like. Yeah, I also that's think true. it's yeah. like a forced thing. Like if they force themselves, like yeah, I'm gonna get with this baggy clothes trend. Some people mm-hmm. naturally do wear baggy clothes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wanna know what I hate? The little big bulk shoes. Like oh they God. so yeah, like big the like, uh, for no reason. Like, like the Balenciaga. Yeah, yes. no. I mean, I mean it, it depends. <laughs> Cause I know some people that could wear those shoes correctly. Like I'm saying, like if you wear those shoes with like, the skin tight jeans, I don't jeans. even like those no. shoes. But like if you wear those shoes with skinny jeans, no, that's not okay. Your whole outfit can't be small up top, and you got breaks on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. That's that's, that's okay. true though. I but feel like, that way with the with the Balenciaga sock shoe. Yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. You could wear that certain way. Like I've seen people wear those and they like Queen, Claire, a few YouTubers. Yeah, Herbo do a nice too. Yeah. You like that's what I'm saying. You got people just buy stuff and don't know how to properly wear it. Like when you buy clothes, don't buy it for oh. I went in 90. Look at the price tag. I just got yeah. this for however much. No. Don't buy it for the bragging rights. Yeah, that's true. If you're not going to wear it right, don't get it. I don't like that. And my favorite thing to touch on, because people swear that these leggings are new. Bell bottom leggings. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so old-fashioned. Exactly. Only when the summer. Well, some females just can't leave them alone. But in the summer, <laughs> more than likely, they wear bottom leggings if you're not you know what I don't even know how I don't even want to talk about that like well, tight at the top loose at the bottom why yeah like they that like they flowy mm-hmm. yeah I get what you're that's saying that's like a disco ball dance yeah. you know like yeah, the like 90s yeah like the 70s but like the people 90s. wear them like with their little body suits and mm. little flip flops and saying like I don't, right. I don't I don't like the I don't like I feel like that should have been a trend left for our parents. Yes. So, how do you feel about the biker shirts? I have a few pair of biker shirts, and I love them. I feel like I mean, they're that my decent, too, but some females can't pull them off. I feel yes, like don't biker shirts no aren't as bad as the bell bottoms. Biker shorts, biker shorts are good when they're biker shorts. I hate mm-hmm. when females wear spanks outside. So yeah. Biker shorts, you know? yeah. Who wears yeah, that's outside? a difference. That's a big difference. Ladies, if you're listening, please don't wear spanks and think they're biker shorts. Biker shorts are okay to a certain extent. Like I'm not saying, okay, I don't want to sound wrong when I say this, but I'm not saying skinny girls and big girls can't wear it. No, I'm not saying that at all. But if you go and wear it, look right with it. Yeah, don't wear you something that you know is out of your league. Right. right. <laughs> you got to dress properly. How do you feel about the biker shorts, the crop tank with the bubble coat? Mm-hmm. Nay, you like, no. like you're confusing me. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I don't know Either if you, you want to be hot. Slim, exactly. If you're hot or if you're cold. Right. Yeah. Because yep. I've seen a couple of females try to pull that off. But that's just like what 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 with me and they wear Tim's in the summer. It's nine degrees outside. You have on now Tim's. That now your feet are sour. Right. You know they've been doing that for a minute. In that Chicago. makes yeah. me mad. Yeah. yeah. They do it worse than me. I mean, but you could do that in in Chicago because the weather changes daily. It's, it's fall in the morning. Summer starts at about 11 o'clock. Then fall starts again at about 2.30, and then it's winter after that. So you could do that in Chicago. But yeah. anywhere else, if, like, the weather is consistent, you shouldn't do it. 
I mean, that's the same with Uggs, too. People with yeah, Uggs that's true. all year round. That's definitely true. It depends because like, they got the little Uggs. I was slides. about to say. It might be hot outside. Like, me personally, well, I wouldn't wear them, definitely. But when it's hot outside, I don't think you should have any type of fur on. I don't even like That's my hair definitely true. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That being said, Jay Sean, what do you have to add? Well, since we're talking about about all current teen trends, I think we can all agree that social media is one of our youth's busy, biggest distractions. Do y'all agree? Yes. Yes. I yes. I can't wait to talk about this. From Snapchat to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, teens spend more than six hours on social media daily. Social media is starting to interfere with kids' learning environment. Can you guys agree on that, too? Mm, Somewhat. Yes. yes and no. Somewhat. Well, what do you mean, yes and no? Because I feel like, I feel like, I'm glad we're talking about this, because I feel like Very glad. <laughs> with social media, it's like a place for fun and a place for learning. Because yeah. I'll be honest, most of the stuff, most of the stuff that's going on, like, around us right now, I would find out from social media. Yeah, like in the outer world. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing that's out now is the sex trafficking. Yes. 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 I never, I haven't heard no teacher, none of that say, if it was school shootings, teachers would be all over, oh my God, school shootings, school shootings, sex trafficking. But sometimes they don't even speak on school shootings. That's true. That's true. So I feel like social media is like, not even kids, social media is just, can be for anybody's learning you can get on there yeah. and you can learn more stuff about more stuff about about what they teach you what they try to teach you in school mm-hmm. than what they actually yeah. taught you yeah that's true mm-hmm. just last week a teenager in a cps school um put on social media how he thought slavery should be reinforced again i feel like teen should should find a different way to discuss their beliefs about slavery instead of putting it on social media because of everyone's different beliefs. Was it intended as like a was like a joke? Like, was it a no, it wasn't a it wasn't a joke. He was serious. Mm. As he went as like, far as calling the other kid racial slurs. Mm. I mean so like with that, that's like watch what you say on social media. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, that's the way you, you use your platform. Yeah. yeah. Like, from a personal standpoint, I'm the type of person that I see something on social media, and if I think it's about me, I take it's, it personal. it's going to come back personal and come yeah. to you. No, over social media, none of that is. You're going to do yeah, it in person. Face to face. Yeah. What was that? That's another big thing. But like, not cyberbullying, but like social media beef and all that. Just yeah, because you can say it one way on social media, and the person on the other end could take it another way. Sounds like you don't need a social media. Yeah, <laughs> but then that's another thing. Like, I of course, well, some people don't realize it now. But if you do grow up to be like a public figure or anything to do with the public, what you said before most definitely come back at you. Like I know you guys see when celebrities when celebrities get canceled because yeah. old tweets that they uh, post or yeah. old Instagram posts that they had before will come back up, and you know they're just not the same person. So I feel like. With social media, it is it is a proper way to use it. You know, you don't there to have fun, but not to act, you know, out of character too much. Yeah, that's true. If you got social media, act accordingly. Anything on social media, stay on social media. But if it's personal, it's coming off social media, then that's the problem. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why I feel like mm-hmm. people should take the time out and teach their kids how to interact with others on social media and what to post and what not to post. Yeah, because yeah. everything don't belong on social media. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. like posting your whole entire life on there. Every aspect, a I should pet, say, of your life. A pet is, peeve. I hate when people go on, like, post on Snapchat crying. And they yes. feel it's like, yes. okay, I understand you hurt. That's not the way to go about it. Talk to somebody. Just I'm like just, on Facebook. Everybody want to post in the hospital. They want to take a picture in, in the hospital the bed hospital. or with their bracelet. Uh, bracelet. That's very inappropriate. That should be nobody's business. Yes. So, um, what what social media platforms do you guys have? Uh, let me go first. I love me some Twitter. Yes. I agree. Because I get all my information from Twitter. My mom comes to me like days after. I'm like, look at this. And I'm like, oh, I seen that two weeks ago. 
I have Snapchat. Um, I slowed down from posting on Snapchat. I have Instagram. Um, Instagram, I really don't care for it. But um, that's all I have. Oh, okay. me on the other hand. I, got I have everything. <laughs> me too. I got it all. I have a Facebook. I have a Twitter. I have a Snapchat. And I have an Instagram. And I think what I like what I like least would be Facebook because oh, I'm just starting to I'm just starting to use it. Mm-hmm. At first like I've had it but I didn't get on there more. So now I'm just getting on there. So now uh-huh. I'm starting to find it interesting. What I like most is starting to be Twitter. Starting to be Twitter. I think I could say Facebook my favorite. That's why all the family drama at it. it's sad to say but <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's why I go find all the family information. Um, I got everything. Twitter is my least, just because I like I didn't know how to use it until I got into the advanced media production class. That was like, me too. You I don't like, like it. It's not hard to maintain, but it's like just scrolling. Like I can't. Yeah, it's can't endless. It's scroll. like scrolling it's on Instagram. No, I it's, mean, but I don't really same. get on Instagram either. So because on Instagram, like you got the explore page, you like you can look at some yeah. different stuff, things. Stories, yeah, all that. Twitter is just Twitter that too. No, so you got yeah. stories on Twitter too. Use it. It's you don't not have stories, stories, but it's but like a score kind of, you know, like Twitter. comments. You know? Can you get on live on Twitter? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my I God. That. I didn't know that. I See, I don't use Twitter, so I wouldn't know. I just learned how to use Facebook, too. Like, I yeah. didn't. At first, I only had Instagram and Snapchat. And for a minute, I didn't have Instagram because in middle school, I made a bad decision. It's not going to be talked about. Yeah. You didn't use your social media platform responsibly? No, I did not. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> <laughs> Happily, I'm not that person anymore. I yeah, feel like yeah, with Facebook, the only reason I don't like Facebook is because they tell every single thing you do. You like yeah. something, it shows up on somebody's yeah. news feed. You comment yeah. on something, it shows up. Instagram, That's federal. Instagram was the same way for a little bit. I mean, if you want to talk about federal, Snapchat is the most federal. I no. agree. What? Why Snapchat. It's tell when you it's screenshot. It's when you see. When you screen, see, the when you screen yeah. record. When you, uh-huh. when you change message settings. Well, guys, I know I have a hack. I know how to screenshot without them knowing. No, but I'm me saying, too. But the world doesn't need that. to know that. <laughs> <laughs> because how else? Baby, you exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, guys. Anything else you would like to add on to the topic of current trends? Any advice for anybody out there? Rawest podcast alive. That's it. Exactly. And that's Pitt. We, we, we the best <laughs> to do it. Rawest podcast alive.